we stay here, we die. I have a plan. It's the end of days. No more people. No more New York. No more nothing. How did you want to take this franchise in a brand new direction? Um, I mean, I think I kind of wanted to honor what they had done in the past with um, something that had intense scares and, and these creatures while at the same time was really focused on intimate character driven stuff. So I think my version of it was find a character story that I really responded to and that I wanted to explore that felt unique and then just sort of try and do that character story justice. Who was your entry point into the story? Was it Sam or Eric? Sam. Sam was the initial, I mean, when John came to me and said, hey, we're doing New York day one, what do you think? Uh, Sam was kind of that first idea of, it would be interesting to follow a character that's going through what she's dealing with during the end of the world. I think it kind of puts it in a different light for her. So, so she was kind of the beginning, and then finding that person to kind of pair with her was, was the next step of, of figuring that out. Um, and that was when we figured out the cat, and then figuring out the next character to pair with her. No, just, no it, was, uh, it, was, it was Eric, and then it was the cat. You just mentioned the cat. <laughs> Why? And I didn't realize that Lupita didn't want a cat in this. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't... It, it wasn't that she didn't want. It was she was terrified of cats before we started this. I mean, she was really, really afraid of them. Like, was afraid to touch the cats initially. But I mean, she was so committed to the role that she really like tried hard. She started just spending time with the cat, forcing herself to get to know it. Uh, and then by the end, she has a cat of her own now, and she loves them. So. Uh, it took it took a little bit of a learning curve, but she was there for it. And that sounds like me. I have two cats, and I never liked them growing yeah. up. <laughs> Once you find that one cat that's just amazing, uh, it just it can change your whole worldview. So movie lovers are going to know you from Pig uh, with Nicolas Cage, yeah. uh, smaller, intimate movie, uh, similar to this. Um, how did that prepare you uh, for your work on A Quiet Place Day One? Yeah, I think... Um, I mean, I think I approached this pretty similarly. I, I worked with the same cinematographer. We shot listed it the same way. I think we just approached it as what is the character story we're telling? What is the point of view? How do we embody that in this film? Um, and, you know, it, obviously there was a much larger scale, larger crew. You're dealing with hundreds of people rather than tens of people. But, uh, but it's kind of the same thing still. You're just talking to people, coming up with the best idea, figuring out how you want to approach things. Um, so I think it just sort of, it taught me how I like to approach a set, how I like to approach a story, and I found that I could sort of just project that onto a larger scale. What did you think of setting the film in New York City? This is a huge departure for the Quiet Place franchise. Yeah, I mean, that was one of the most exciting parts was saying, okay, we're not going to do the smaller rural story. We're doing a big city story. It's loud. There's lots of people and creatures. Um, but then still trying to really find a small intimate story to tell in that, that was really important to me to not just like let sort of the scale bloat in every way. It was like, okay, how do we tell a huge story in a huge city as we're watching this iconic city kind of fall apart around us, but we still stay, stay really anchored uh, on these characters. So it was the challenge, but also one of the more exciting aspects of it. Um, what other sequels did you look to for inspiration for this? Um, I think there's a lot to be said for Aliens. Like it's, you know, you go from the smaller, more contained movie and then do the bigger one that has more action and all that. Um, so I, I, that was one that we kind of talked about a lot in like, you know, we want to sort of satisfy some of that, but, um, but I don't know, I didn't, I tried not to think about this as a prequel and really just focus on it as this is a character story and what is the full version of Sam's story and like, how do we explore that? Um, so, you know, you're always kind of thinking about how these sort of sequels play out, but you kind of need to separate yourself from that a little bit and just say, well, what if this were the only movie? What if the other ones didn't exist? And what if it was just about these characters? Because if you're not doing that justice, then no matter what you do, it's not going to matter. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but that final scene is incredible. How did you land on that? I mean, coming up with Sam's character, that felt like where this needed to go. And I think it was about finding a way to portray that in a way that felt earned, felt triumphant, felt life-affirming. Um, I, I knew how I wanted audiences to kind of feel leaving the movie, and it was kind of a risky bet to try and pull that off, but uh, but that was just kind of early on one of the real goals of like, if I can swing that, that, that will be a real win and just a cr fun, creative exercise. And John, did he give you any advice? What did he say to you going into this? I mean, his big thing was he, he really gave me the space to kind of make this my own. He brought me on, he had been a big fan of Pig, and he said like, you know, don't, like, you know, the other two movies, he directed them, they're John Krasinski films, 
and this, there was no pressure to kind of make this feel like the other movies. He said, make this feel like a Michael Cernowski film, have, have the leeway to explore that and make this your own vision. And that was really gracious and generous of him uh, and you know, took a lot of weight off. And, and I, I, I could just sort of think, okay, then what do I care about in this film and what do I want to explore? Thank <laughs> you.